Genetic factors contribute to the development of immunoglobulin E-mediated allergy, but environmental factors may also be important. As many as 40% of people in Western populations show an exaggerated tendency to mount immunoglobulin E responses to a wide variety of common environmental allergens. This state is called atopy and seems to be influenced by several genetic loci. Atopic individuals have higher total levels of immunoglobulin E in the circulation and higher levels of eosinophils than their normal counterparts. They are more susceptible to allergic diseases such as hay fever and asthma. Studies of atopic families have identified regions on chromosomes 11Q and 5Q that appear to be important in determining atopy. Candidate genes that could affect immunoglobulin E responses are present in these regions. The candidate gene on chromosome 11 encodes the beta subunit of the high affinity immunoglobulin E receptor, whereas on chromosomes 5, there is a cluster of tightly linked genes that includes those for interleukin 3, interleukin 4, interleukin 5, interleukin 9, interleukin 12, and interleukin 13, and granulocyte macrophage colony stimulating factor GMCSF. These cytokines are important in immunoglobulin E isotype switching, eosinophil survival, and mast cell proliferation. Of particular note, an inherited genetic variation in the promoter region on the interleukin-4 gene is associated with raised immunoglobulin E levels in atopic individuals. The variant promoter will direct increased expression of a reporter gene in experimental systems. Atopy has also been associated with a gain of function mutation of the alpha subunit of the interleukin-4 receptor, which is associated with increased signaling following ligation of the receptor. It is too early to know how important these different polymorphisms are in the complex genetics of atopy. And that's genetic factors contribute to the development of immunoglobulin E mediated allergy, but environmental factors may also be important. Have a great day.